my channel. So today I filmed this really, really glittery, bronzy, smoky eye with the bling bling and the chang chang. So if you want to see how I create this look, please keep watching. Alrighty guys, let's get started. So you guys can see I've got this massive, massive, massive pimple. I've got such a big spot here at the moment that I've been trying to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and pop it and pimp it and all that rubbish. It's just not coming out. So I've just put on some Glam Glow Super Mud. And then for the rest of my skin, I'm going to use a quick peel off mask. It gives me a really nice smooth finish to my skin. It makes it nice and tight. And it's called the Gravity Mud Firming Treatment from Glam Glow. Normally this mask is silver, but I've actually got the Sonic Edition. I don't like to put this mask too far into the hairline because just before night out, it kind of gets stuck in there and then I get like blue and silver shit everywhere. So I'm just going to leave this on for about 10 to 15 minutes while I go on Snapchat, watch some YouTubes, and then I'll be back. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. My mask is all dry now. All these wrinkles go... <laughs> So I'm just going to start peeling it off. And this mask is not one of those masks that kind of takes out your blackheads and stuff. It's not like that at all. It just gets you firmed up your skin. Makes your makeup go on super smooth. Alright guys, so now that my skin's all nice and fresh, I'm just going to use a toner on my skin. So I'm going to use this one from Claire's. It's one of my favourites at the minute before foundation because it makes my foundation go on so smooth. And it just literally preps your skin for makeup. Now just put a couple drops on my hand. And I just press it into my skin. It's really, really hydrating, so it gives your skin a lot of moisture. This is like a Korean beauty product as well, so you know if it's Korean, it's good. The moisturiser I'm using at the moment is the Oil Free Ultra Moisturising Lotion with Birch Sap. It's from Cosrx. I literally just dot all over the skin. I like this because it's super moisturising, but it's oil free. Okay, because it's a special event today, I'm going to wear some contact lenses. This is in the shade Hydrocore Quartzo. Get in there, bitch. Am I in? Oh my god, it went in. Yes! First time, baby! First So this is what the contact lens looks like on. It's really good because it shows up on brown eyes really, really well. And it looks like really, it's kind of mysterious. Makes your eyes look a bit more squinty. You know, that sexy spice. Okay, now that I've got both my contact lenses in, don't I look scary? <laughs> I know some people prefer my natural brown eyes, but girl, just let me live. Just let me live, okay? Okay, so as you guys might see from my Instagram videos, I do use Milk of Magnesia on my skin. This is what it looks like. It's meant to be for your tummy. You're meant to drink it, but it's really, really good at holding the oil. <laughs> and I just use whatever's in the cap, so a small amount. Don't use too much, because otherwise your foundation will look caca. It'll look like caca. Any synthetic brush, and I just put it on my T-zone. Especially on my eyebrows, my eyebrows get oily, girl. Okay, as always, I'm going to use my Hourglass Mineral Val Primer. I literally just take one pump enough to do your whole face very small amount you need because it spreads a lot I want my foundation to look flawless today girl flawless so foundation wise today i'm going to go with the urban decay all nighter foundation in the shade 6.0 this is super super long wear it's waterproof apparently so you got loads of dots all over i'm going to kind of rub it in roughly to spread out the foundation otherwise the sponge kind of picks all up and then soaks up all the coverage so I kind of like roughly blur it into my skin. Okay, now I'm going to get my beauty sponge. This is from Morphe. It's the Stiletto Beauty Sponge. And I use the fat ass of the beauty blender and I smack it on my face. <laughs> smack that body, girl. Smack that body. Okay, so now that the foundation is all on, I'm going to go in with my Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline. And this is in the shade Neutralizer. I had to order this from Amazon because we don't have this shade in the UK. This shade's a little bit lighter, a bit more yellow compared to the shade light. It's quite similar, it's not like a massive difference. Bring it on the inner portions of my nose. <laughs> Slim that nose down, you know what I'm saying? Nose Put some on the bridge. And my chinny chin chins. A little bit on the forehead too. And use my beauty sponge again. Just gonna dab it all in. Just as tight and together. And I use the foundation side, so it kind of merges with my foundation. You just see, it just helps brighten up everything. So I'm just gonna bronze up my skin because I look like a big fat potato head. So we use this product from Matt. It's called the BB Compact in Refined Golden. It's like a cream bronzer. I'm just going to use my Real Technique brush just from the Core Collection. You guys know I love some cream bronzer. So I'm just going to pull back my hair and then really buff it in the hairline. And I just do this all around my forehead so it kind of slims everything down, gives me a bronze look. Because you guys see like my foundation, it looks really like stark and contrasty so i don't want in pictures when the flash comes on for you guys to see like a white halo around my foundation forehead you know so i'm going to use my primed and poreless powder this is my favorite powder but 
Look at it! Look! I've never hit pans so badly before, but this is one of my favourite powders. So I'm going to use a powder puff today because I want my foundation to be luck and set, honey. So whenever you use a foundation puff, it's going to really set everything. If you want to make your foundation last, switch to a powder puff, guys. This is a really good one. This one's from MAC. It's really nice and fluffy. Go on, let's just scrape out the edges. <laughs> Times are hard these days, guys. The struggle is real. So I'm gonna contour my face because it's a bit wide at the moment. So I'm gonna use this product from Rodeo, and it's called the Insta Glam Compact Deluxe Powder. I'm gonna use my Zoeva 105 Luxe Highlight Brush because I don't like cream bronzer. You guys can see the kind of warmth in here, but I just want to cool it down a bit and add like more of a shadow. And this is the perfect shade for that because it's not warm whatsoever. It's a very cool toned. Let's do it on the cheekbones, jawline. So this is the brush I use for nose contour. It's really good. It's from Tarte, but I don't know what it's called. It's like this bent kind of shape. And I use this kind of side. And I'm just going to lightly contour my nose. Just on the sides. I just skim it through here. And I just connect it to my eyebrow. Okay, I'm just going to bake underneath my eyes as well. I haven't baked in a long ass time. but So I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. The Queen of Baking Powder. This is the one. If you've got oily skin, guys, you need to get it. Don't skip on it. It's expensive though, like 32 pounds. Yes! I'm gonna use my powder puff again, and I'm gonna put this on underneath my eyes and along my nose to kind of help shape my nose. So I just put it on the sides here. This is like reverse contouring. Keeps your nose looking nice and snatch, girl. And you put this on wherever you get shiny or where you start to crease. So I only really bake when I go out for like a long time because it does feel a bit heavy on the skin. Okay, so while this is baking, I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows and I'll be back. Brows are on, girl. Whoa, they are on fleek today. Yes. I probably took my time with them. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put on some blusher now. I'm going to go in with the Milani Luminoso blusher. I'm going to use my favourite blusher brush, the F15 from Sigma. I always use this blusher brush. I like this blush because it's super subtle. And then I'm going to sweep off the bakage and then we're going to go on to highlighter. Woo! I kind of dust the bakage into my skin so for cream highlighter i'm going to use this product from benefit it's called what's up and i like it because it dries like a powder finish and i just put this on as a base so that when my highlighter goes on later it's gonna be popping it wouldn't be a tweed tutorial without any highlighter ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. and you want to make sure you don't swipe on the skin because that's going to ruin all of your hard work all your blending okay so for highlighter i'm going to go in my favorite highlighting combination at the moment that i've been wearing all over snapchat and you guys probably know it already it is illuminati and coco bling from artist control i've been wearing this non-stop on snapchat everybody been asking me what highlight are you wearing and i always have to type it into so many people but it's artist control illuminati oh god this is the best highlighter ever it's like a golden base powder and I think because it's loose, it's a lot more pigmented. And I'm going to use my Zoeva 134 Luxe Powder Fusion Brush. <laughs> I'm going to use a bit on the cap. And then I'm going to turn my cheek and then add it to the highest point. I did just have some cheekbone filler done. And girl, ever since then, my highlight has been popping. Mm. So I just literally dust my brush onto the highest point and let the brush kind of pick up wherever it wants to. So... You guys saw earlier, I put so much powder on my skin and this is the way that you make your skin look really nice and glowy again. By putting on highlighter just in certain areas. And I like to put it on top of my forehead, on my nose. I've been loving highlighting my forehead recently. The bit that you want matte is like in between here, but on your actual forehead, it just gives that soft glow. <laughs> the glow is real, yes! Oh my god. Oh my god, Yes, we're so happy and then to amp it up even more knock it up one notch i'm gonna go in with coco bling coco bling is a bit too light for me to use on its own so i have to pair it with illuminati it's a bit more white hit it with the fix plus one time and then just pick up a bit of that coco bling girl that bling bling got a chain chain and then this bit you can see where it's highlighted the most i just add it onto there just that little dab just just there guys just there You don't want to put this on too all over because it is very white, it's very light. So you don't want it to look like a white stripe. Just where the highest point is, it looks like it's even higher. So anywhere you want to pop even more, just add an extra drop of it. This would be so nice on paler skin tones. If your skin tone's a bit darker, I would recommend to go for conceited. I literally want to look like a glowing doll. That's the plan today, guys. Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! 
Okay, so the skin is done. Oh my god, it's on fleek today. I'm gonna wear a black sparkly dress, so I'm gonna do some black sparkly eyes, bitch. So on the eyes, I'm gonna use this brand new palette from Dose of Colors. It's called the Baked Browns. Ooh, look how pretty. Ah. Okay, so to start off with, I'm using my MAC 224 brush, and I'm gonna go in with my transition color. Oh god, they're so pigmented. Woo! I just blew on the brush. I never do that. <laughs> I'm gonna put this just higher than my actual lid crease because we're gonna start to build up the color here. I'm gonna work on two eyes simultaneously because that's the easiest and quickest way to do it, guys. Get it nice and even. These types of colors, eyeshadows are really pigmented, but they do have a lot of fallout. You guys see all that fallout just from me tapping it? But they are really pigmented and really smooth to blend out, so I ain't mad at it. Okay, I'm gonna start mixing a bit of this warmer middle shade here. Because I want to start to build up a bit of warmth. I'm just bringing this a little bit lower than the other crease colour. So the other crease colour went really, really high. And this is going a little bit lower than that. And I'm also really bringing it into where my brows are. And where my nose contour is to tie it all together. I need to get some new blending brushes, methinks. This one starts to go a bit small. I need one that's really big and fluffy. Okay, just on the outer corners, I'm going to go in this deeper reddish shade. This shade makes this palette so pretty. I'm just going to put it just right on top of the lid because it's going to start fading in and we're going to actually put black all over here anyway so you're not going to see much of it but it's just going to add that reddish kind of tint to the eye just literally like pat it on I'll go back and forth and I swish it all over the lids it looks really pretty on its own like this mmm mmm okay on the eyelid we're going to start building up a bit more depth now so we're going to go in this dark brown shade here so pigmented Jesus so much colour on the brush Make sure you tap that shit off or you get loads of fallout. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just literally tapping on the eyeshadow, the darkest colour on the lid. And then slightly higher than that, I'm going in with a slightly reddish shade. And it helps just fade that colour together. Otherwise, it will be like dark brown and a light brown. Which you want it to be dark, mid and light. Yeah. The brush I'm using, by the way, is the Morphe R39 brush. And I'm using it because it's quite flat as well as fluffy. It's giving a soft blend rather than if I use a flat brush, it will give like a flat harsh line. Which you want more for cut creases, not when you want something really smoky. Alright, so now I blended all that sucker out. That took me ages to blend because I was like, here, go back to the bigger blush, go to the small brush, go back to the bigger blush, blur, blur, brush. I think I might do underneath now as well because I like it really smoky underneath, which some people don't like, but let me do me boo so i'm gonna go in with a black eyeliner this is from urban decay it's called perversion i'm gonna put some black just in the bottom here this is so black guys it's literally like black ink this eyeliner so good i feel like a cat okay i'm gonna do my top chickens <laughs> the chicken has been filled it's really important that you get all these bold spots especially if you're going for like a black smoky eye like this you need to make sure all this is filled girl especially in between the lashes i can blend out the eyeliner Okay, so on the eyes, I'm going to use a black eyeshadow from Colourpop. It's called Roulette. And because it's a cr not a cream, but you know Colourpop eyeshadows, they're a bit more spongy. So they stick onto the eyes really well without a lot of fallout. So you want to make sure you use a flat eyeshadow brush. This brush I'm using is the MAC 233 brush. It's half synthetic and half natural hair. And then I'm just going to tap it on with the synthetic side. And then I'm just going to put it right on top on the lid. And I'm just going to pat it on because it kind of looks really nice and inky, you know. And when I pack it on... I always do the same process. I put it all on the eyelid first, and then when I have less on the brush, that's when I slightly move the brush a bit higher up so that whatever's left on the brush, it blends it out. If you are struggling to get the eyeshadow to blend, just go back in with that brown eyeshadow and just build up the intensity. So it's turned up to you how you want your eyes. You can just go for brown, like matte all over, or you can go black like me. I love the intensity, especially when I have light eyes as well. I just feel like staring into your soul, you know. <laughs> okay, so underneath my eyes, I'm gonna go in with a slightly smaller brush. This is Zoe Eva, it's called the Luxe Petite Brush. It's kind of like a big pencil brush. I'm gonna use this darker shade again, and this is just gonna smoke out underneath my lash line. I just want it all to blend and connect underneath here. Okay, so I literally just smoked out all smoke it under there and i go literally like around like a panda and this is really really matte but because i'm wearing a sparkly dress i just want to add a bit of spackle on my eyelids so i've been dying to use this glitter and i haven't touched it yet because i haven't worn any makeup looks that will go with it so it's called lip cosmetic and it's called seeing stars and basically it's a black glitter with different colors inside of it 
So it's got like blues, greens, pinks, a bit of everything inside. So I think that'll look really pretty. I am scared though, because it's going to drop all over my skin. I'm going to put like a thick layer of powder underneath my eyes, because I know the glitter is going to drop everywhere. Okay, and then I'm going to use the Smolder Cosmetics eyeshadow base. It's called Dazzle Lock, and I'm going to put it mainly on the inner corners. Okay, so I use my finger, and I gently pat, because I don't want it to be like a big blob. Here we go. Oh! This glitter is fabulous, girl. Yes! Oh my god, it's like all colours of the rainbow on my eyes right about now. Okay, I'm just going to put on the other eye now. I think I need to be more generous with the glitter adhesive, so it's not like bold patches. Who doesn't like glitter, though? Who doesn't, honestly? Okay, I'm just going to put a lighter glitter on the inner corners. So I'm just putting a dot of that Dazzle Lock. I'm going to use Cher Holographic Glitter by Lip Cosmetics. Oh my god, just spilled that everywhere. Okay, let's do some eyeliner now because it's starting to look a bit crazy. So when you put the liner and lashes together, that's when it all ties in. So I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ink Liner. This is my favourite eyeliner on top of glitter. So I just put this really close to the lash line and I almost dot it on. I'm going to do quite a thick wing today. I'm going to wing this puppy out. Put on a quick coat of mascara and I'm going to apply some eyelashes. This is from Iris Beauty. They're really nice thick fall to go along with this look. Super pretty. Alrighty. That's more like it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes to make them really nice and curly. You want to make sure the lashes are completely dry before you curl them. Otherwise, you'll freaking move the eyelash. The struggle is real, girl. I'm going to line my lips with stripped down lip liner. I've only got a little nub of it left. <laughs> I'm just going to get a new one. So every time I sharpen it, I'm like, no! <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to line my lip. My lips, I'm going to use a Tom Ford lipstick, and it's called Nude Vanille. Okay, come here. Come here. You want to come on YouTube? So this is little Coco here. Look at the camera. What's that? This is Coco. He's a little Pomeranian. He's my sister's dog. He How old are you, Coco? I'm five. Coco's five years old. He's an old man. He's a little Pomeranian, aren't you? Ugh, his breath stinks. So what are you? You're my nephew, Coco. He's super cute. He's an old man now. And he likes being on camera. What else do you like to do in your spare time? I like to eat chicken. Oh, you like the wings, hey? Coco likes KFC too. <laughs> Hi, Nora. <laughs> Okay, bye Felicia. <laughs> bye now. Okay, and just to set my makeup, I'm going in with the Ofra Makeup Fixer. I'm just going to shake it up. Mmm, it's a really set that bit, you know. Okay, and I'm just going to quickly go get dressed, do my hair, and I'll be back. Okay guys, that's it for this makeup tutorial. I just put on my jewellery, my outfit, I just slipped back my hair. I'm going to be going up to Westfield Stratford to celebrate with NYX and they just launched a brand new standalone store. So make sure you check that out next time you're at Westfield Stratford. Make sure you guys are following me on all my social media platforms. It's just xtweely on Snapchat, Twitter and Instagram. I do upload every single week on my YouTube so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. I'm actually early for once guys. Who's proud of me? If you're from the Snap fam, you know. You know what I'm like? Okay, I'm late now. <laughs> Bye guys. My mother just come in the room. Look how big this spot is guys. And that's been popped. I think I managed to pop it and got the egg out. <laughs> I'm gonna try to clean as I go guys. I'm gonna try to do it today. It's not gonna be a hurricane today. I tell you, I left plenty of time. Oh, you're still rolling, girl. Where's the primer, bitch? Oh, I need to wet my beauty blender. Full. I'm never in the fucking middle of the screen. It's so annoying. Ah! Uh, fail. Do that again with no fingerprints. Fuck's sake, it's so dirty. Let's clean it. My mirror's so dirty, girl. Girl, it's hot in here. Let me take off this roll. <laughs> Slot that back in. Just sharpen it. What the fuck? Get back in there! Oh god, I'm seeing glitter. It's all in my contact lens. Sriracha? Oh hell no, these eyelashes are called Sriracha! <laughs> Not the chili sauce, guys, the eyelashes. Oh my god, there's glitter everywhere, guys. Ah! I'm literally raining glitter, guys. They're just as highlighted as highlighted as my face. Ah! <laughs> okay, mayday, mayday. Earring has dropped. Tillies are out today. Yeah! Yeah!